Hi folks, and thanks for taking a moment to check out Drive to Survive, the nation's leading advanced emergency vehicle operations program. To give you a quick background about who I am and what the program is all about, my name is Chris Daly. I hail from southeastern Pennsylvania, where I spent the past 30 years involved in both the volunteer and career fire service. I've also spent the past 23 years as a full-time police officer in Westchester, PA. And for you fire and EMS guys, I ask you to please hold your applause. I already know how much you love cops. But my specialty or niche, if you will, is crash reconstruction. We're the guys who come out at 2 in the morning, tie up your rescue truck for four hours while everybody stands around complaining about what's taking us so long. And we're the guys who put the crash back together to figure out who was going, how fast, who was at fault, and maybe who needs to be criminally charged, if anyone. As a result of my background in both fire and police, I started to notice a lot of incidents involving fire and EMS vehicle crashes. The sad thing is, there's very little training to address this significant issue. So 15 years ago, I put together the Drive to Survive training program. What is it? This program provides advanced topics not normally provided in an EVOC class. The topics we talk about include lateral g-force, coefficient of friction of the roadway, critical curve speeds, tire blowouts, stopping distance, siren limitations, intersection safety and emergency response considerations, driving at night, and all sorts of other advanced concepts that again are not normally addressed in standard EVOC classes because quite frankly the instructors don't have the crash reconstruction background through no fault of their own. This program is designed to fill that gap. To date the program has been taught for 15 years to over 23,000 emergency responders throughout the country at over 530 locations, including FDIC in Indianapolis, Indiana, for the past 16 years. Due to the COVID-19 crisis, as well as the fact that I've had numerous departments in remote areas ask for some sort of virtual training because they can't get to large seminars, I've spent the past several months putting the program online. Admittedly, people don't like online training for various reasons. Most importantly, you lack my in-person charm, but this will help fill that gap. So I hope you take a moment to check out the program further, and I encourage you to reach out to this information, my Facebook address, my email address, and everything else you see on this page for more information on the program. So again, thanks for taking a moment to check us out, and I hope to see you in the modules. Take care.